It's a career that spanned decades and produced Grammy winning records, electric live shows and millions of people impacted by his incredible piano playing. Recently, he turned, I can't believe it, Dino, 80 years old, where he celebrated with thousands of fans across the world at Hammond's Hall. Here with more on his amazing journey is our friend Dino Kartsanakis. Hi, Dino. And you had to bring up the 80, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I can't believe it, Dino. You look fantastic. I feel great. You know, yeah. I, actually, I don't know how one should feel at 80. <laughs> what I do usually when I ask people their age, I ask them, how old do you feel? Yeah. That's, <laughs> That's how right. old you are, right? That's right. So how old do you feel? I feel like this moment, I feel about my 40s. That's amazing. Yeah, That's I feel amazing. great. Yeah. Well, it must yeah. be that Greek energy and <laughs> the garlic right. and whatever you know, goes into the <laughs> recipe, you know. That's right. But That's it's, right. listen, I love the show, Michael. Oh, thank you I'm so you proud so of you. Thank you. Well, I've known you for pretty much my whole life. Since you were a little boy. That's right. And I remember coming to your shows in Branson and uh, just seeing the incredible productions that you put on. But uh, I want to talk about your career, Dino, yes. because um, you started in New York City. You're really a, a prodigy. And so tell us about how you got started started and uh, the, and where this journey has taken you well like I say it's a God-given gift yeah. and I started playing when I was three years old mm -hmm. uh, we had this little upright broken down piano that was given to from, from some Greek friends gave it to my parents at our apartment in New York City I know we lived on the fourth floor and and uh, and I, if I close my eyes I just can picture where that little piano was mm -hmm. and one Sunday morning came up from church yeah. uh, I just walked to that piano, three years old, and started picking out one of the songs I heard in church that morning. Wow. With one finger. <laughs> that melody stayed in, in my mind. And the, the hymn was, at the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. Mm -hmm. At the cross, you know, very simply, I played it. And my mother uh, and dad kind of tiptoed behind me. They were hearing this, this song. No one had played the piano. We just had a piano sitting there. But God, I believe God planted that piano wow. in our apartment yeah. for such a time as that, you know. Yeah. And so when I was playing that melody, my mother was just listening and praying, you know, because she wanted me to be a uh, uh, she, she wanted to be a, a good you know, Christian young man and, mm -hmm. and become something, you know, some career. Little did she know it was going to be the piano. Wow. <laughs> and that's where it all started. Yeah. And in her heart, she felt that that was going to be the gift that God had given me. Mm -hmm. And that's how it all started. That's amazing. In New York City. That's amazing. Age three. And it's taken you all over the world, uh, performing on television and uh, and also Carnegie Hall, which I think is amazing. Uh, yeah, Carnegie Hall was one of the highlights of my life because as a child in New York City, of course, my school was in Manhattan mm -hmm. and a few blocks uh, downtown uh, was uh, Carnegie Hall. Mm -hmm. So I'd walk a lot in that neighborhood because back then you didn't have cars in yeah. New York City. You didn't, never have a car, you have to walk. <laughs> That's right. And I'd always walk past Carnegie Hall and see all these great artists, Rubenstein and Horowitz and all these great pianists, mm. and dream that someday I would play, perform at Carnegie Hall. Wow. And the dream came true. Wow, that's amazing. And it was a, just absolutely a thrill. It really, really was. Yeah. And what I love about you, Dino, is um, you came to Branson and uh, you invested yourself in this community. And um, there was nothing there when we came. I'm telling you. <laughs> Tell us about uh, uh, the productions that you would do. I remember you. I remember so clearly watching you with my family at uh, the Mansion Theater. Yes. So talk about those incredible Branson days. <sighs> well. And they're still incredible. That's I mean, right. Branson's still doing well. Yeah. Uh, but we came there with a, with a Broadway show. Wow. Uh, when there was no, not, no dancers really, it was just country. You know, so we brought some dancers and the sets and the costumes and, and uh, the community liked it. I thought it was something different and nice. Mm -hmm. so, th so we kept coming back during the Christmas season. Mm. And I've got to say, the Hershens were very, very sweet to us and very cordial, uh, supporting us with that, that particular kind of show. And as a result of that, uh, people liked it. And other artists were coming in, not necessarily country, and they were doing their show, which is uh, kind of like a Broadway show. Yeah. Uh, but the costumes, sure, of course, my wife, <clears throat> uh, she, she designed the costumes. And, you know, my piano was Austin Crystal piano. And so it was, it was very glitzy and very appealing to the eye. And people enjoyed it in Branson. Now people come to me, this is, this is not good. I mean, they say, boy, we love your, nothing about piano playing. <laughs> 
my life, my piano, you know. They say, we love your cakes, even before they even know about my piano playing. Well, that's okay. That's cakes wonderful. and piano, well, it kind of goes together. That's wonderful. We're actually, folks, we have a very special uh, segment that's going to be coming very soon yes. in the next couple of weeks where we're actually going to try some of that amazing cake. Dino, it's always a pleasure to see you. Oh, Thank you so much for being here. with us on The Place. This is a great show, really. I just love seeing you. Thank you. Thank you.